This is how a revalidation works in the Next.js 13 app router. By default, server components are statically cached. So when we compile the project, it fetches the timestamp from this API. And then when I refresh the page, the timestamp doesn't change anymore because it was fetched at compile time and then cached on the server, which results in an instant loading speed. If we want to keep this page statically cached, but still refresh it from time to time, then one option is to use time-based revalidation. For this, we can either add this revalidate field to the configuration of fetch or use this revalidate route segment config for the whole page. To both of them, we pass the number of seconds, how long we want to keep this page in the cache. Now, when we refresh the page after five seconds are over, we first see the stale data again. Next.js then goes ahead and re-renders the page in the background. And the next time we refresh the page, we see the up-to-date value. The other option is to use on-demand revalidation by setting up a route handler and calling revalidate path with the URL we want to revalidate. We have to make a get request to this endpoint, which we can do with our browser. And now we don't have to refresh the page twice. Instead, the latest data is fetched on our next visit and then cached for a future access. If the revalidation fails for some reason, it will just keep showing the old data. 